beef in focus is actually a breed that's designed for beef over dairy, so it's, it's unique in itself and it's actually proven, proven over a number of years to, to uh, get a carcass out of a dairy animal that's for the beef industry. It goes a step further that, that, that it's not only a breed that's specific to dairy animals, we've also got lines that are specific to Jersey. So there's no other breed or no other bull that we can promote that, that uh, does that in the, in the industry. Yeah, just so, yeah, Alan Blum uh, working in Gippsland as the ABS representative and also in Western Australia. So, and involved in our Jersey program, helping source some bulls, bull calves for our yeah, breeding and genetics program. Yeah, I'm Glenn Barrett, uh, General Manager of Jersey Australia. I've been in the role for four and a half years now and uh, Jersey Australia is the national herd book for the Jersey cow. It's uh, been promoting Jersey cows in Australia for nearly 120 years now and uh, 500 members across the country and uh, certainly a uh, very proud part of what we do is, is promoting the Jersey breed. Uh, Brett Boyd, we're running Ranley Farms which is Foster and Yanaki. We're milking 300 at Foster, 350, 400 depending on the time of year. Yannicky's 210. The InFocus have been really good. We had Angus, this is the first year for InFocus, the ones behind us. We had Angus last year. These are equally as good, if not better. They, yeah, they look good to me. I'm not a beef breeder, but I can see that they're gonna be do really well for us at the moment. Oh, certainly we've been working with ABS and Beef in Focus to build this relationship now for probably six months and uh, we're certainly really, it's really exciting to look at the, the research that ABS has done over a number of years now and uh, that research includes genuine Jersey Beef in Focus data and that, that data certainly identifies the, the, um, the Beef in Focus works for Jersey and creates a consistent uh, re replicatable uh, beef calf for the beef trade and I think that's important as for dairy farmers when, when looking at our beef, it's beef, our dairy beef, is to breed a, a consistent product that the beef industry wants. So the traits are, they uh, look for things like um, calving ooze, gestation length, uh, semen fertility is a key focus to get animals in calf, and then uh, growth rates. So they want an efficient animal that's going to grow and, and be environmentally friendly and, and grow through the supply chain and have a high quality carcass from a dairy animal. Nah, we don't have any calving problems, not a problem at all. Um, so this is, yeah, this, we calved 40 last year, we didn't pull a calf. Yeah, not even remotely scary. Ang the, these in focus out of jerseys, not a problem. Not a problem at all. Our leading farmers see this as a real opportunity uh, to look at the um, social licence and also the sustainability of their farming operations. It gives them a real focus of being able to do something that's practical and also make some money in the same same process so it's a win-win and uh, yeah it's a really long-term game that, that they're getting on the ground floor so I think um, almost every every uh, dairy farmer in Australia could, could be involved in the supply chain. In our autumn and spring herds I reckon it'll be very good we'll be able to offload calves at a higher dollar value during the season when we want to offload them um, to me which is a no-brainer instead of getting ten dollars if we can get anything above ten dollars is a good start really especially this year with the cost of milk and all that sort of thing so you've got to make more money out of them oh, what would I say I'd say go for it you know certainly as we enter the main joining period now you start to look at it you know, you know and look at those opportunities that there's market opportunities out there for all dairy farmers and we can build those value opportunities by you know, breeding the top end of the herd to obviously elite Jersey semen and the bottom end of the herd to, to dairy beef. If that adds value, that certainly adds to their, v, their business proposition.